Hello, Taurus. Uh, welcome to your weekly reading. Thank you for joining me today. So, you know, just like last time, there is no dates anymore in the weekly. So we're going to be looking at the energies of mid-May. More timeless energy. Take it as it resonates. So let me pick one or two oracle cards and set the tone for the reading. Okay, I'm going to take these three here. We have... Take time to breathe out. Love that. Okay. Uh, we have nothing is yet set in stone. This card is so beautiful. And the confidence is your key to success. Okay. So you might be feeling like you are on a pause right now. So maybe you're taking, you know, a little birthday vacation, a little time off. Uh, you know, if you've been thinking about taking a break of social media taking time for yourself celebrating yourself for your birthday happy birthday by the way um it could be a lot of things definitely um there is some uncertainty about a situation so maybe you've been asking yourself some questions about a person we'll see what it's all about okay so i'm gonna start with a traditional tarot and we'll use the botticelli tarot to clarify what does Taurus need to know right now does Taurus need to know right now okay three of swords in the reverse as for this card okay so you're healing from something okay uh seeing the three of swords in a reverse means that you've been brave in a situation so maybe you've been waiting to have some uncomfortable conversation with either a past person. Um, maybe you're slowly moving out of, you know, an energy of being heartbroken or hurt about a situation or a person. Uh, the Three of Swords in a Reverse, it's, it's a lot about release, okay? So finally getting answers, finally either sitting face to face with someone and telling them how you feel so uncomfortable it could be uncomfortable but it's really important and it's bringing a lot of release we have the six of sword at the bottom of the deck okay confirming um I, I feel like it fits beautifully with the three of swords in a reverse leaving a state of mind behind okay you're not gonna get hurt anymore by the same things by the same energy so i definitely feel like Something happened in the past, okay? Either someone ghosted you, um, someone didn't give you for a while the answers that you were seeking, and it made you doubt yourself a little bit, okay? I don't feel like you let it show. It was something really personal, and I think like you're finally moving out of that. So maybe someone is going to reach out and finally give you the answers you're seeking. We have the justice card clarifying what I just said, okay? So the justice card is a lot about accept things, the thing that we cannot change, especially when it comes to heartbreak, because it is, um, it is the Libra card, so ruled by Venus. So it's all about love, self-love, getting the answers about an unfair situation. Eight of pentacles in the reverse. The wait is done, okay? You're going to get these answers, so... I'm not saying it's going to be easy. It's nothing that you can't um, face because you're strong. Definitely, you're a Taurus, okay? We are made of steel, literally. Um, yeah, we'll clarify more definitely, but I think someone is going to be telling you something that you kind of figure out by yourself already okay so maybe you're you know maybe they are involved with someone else it's like you knew something you had a feeling a gut something a gut feeling about something and now they're going to be telling you but what are their intentions okay i think that you're not going to be dealing with their bullshit i think that you already know that this person might be either you know a liar or just they want something out of you Okay, I feel like it's, it's weird. It's weird, okay? <laughs> Let's pick one more. 
Yeah, three of pentacles. This person is kind of playing games, like acting like they don't really care, either not communicating with you. Um, you know, maybe they're posting stuff online so you see them. But the thing is that they admire you, okay? Uh, they, they want your attention, Taurus. They need your validation and attention. And I think that at one point, maybe you needed that from them. But after a while, after waiting, you're like, okay, uh, I'm not going to wait my whole life for you. I know I'm worth more than that. But this person, definitely, they didn't move on. They didn't move on. Um, there's kind of a karma-ish thing about these four cards already. I think that, not that you necessarily wish a bad luck or feel hate towards this person but you definitely understand that they don't deserve you and i don't think that you want to give them what they want because they want something from you either validation uh i don't like this person's attitude i don't um intuitively i'm not a, i'm not a fan <laughs> okay let's pick more cards Let's pick more card. Maybe that's why there is time to breathe out. So this person definitely created a lot of anxiety in the past for you. Nothing is yet set in stone. So maybe you change your mind once in a while. Maybe you're undecisive. Uh, it feels like you're kind of in and out about how you feel. You want some answers. A part of you want to communicate with that person. But another part of you is like, leave me alone. I feel like you kind of change your mind a lot. And that's totally fine, okay? You're a human. Let yourself be a human. I feel like this person, they know how to talk to you. To either turn you on, um, get your attention. They know how to spark something, okay? I feel like they are hoping for a brand new beginning. This is the kind of person who... And see all the gray. Do you see how all the cards are gray? Gray is like not really being sure about something. I'm not all black, not all white. I'm in the middle. I don't know if I hate you or if I love you. It's kind of weird. It really, in, with the justice, there's a three in reverse, three upwards. It's like, okay, there's something really unclear about, about them, about you, how you feel about them. And of course, if it's not your story, don't take it. Because I know a lot of you are going to be like, I know I'm done. I don't care. Uh, but I feel like the door is still open for a lot of you. Again, this person, they know how to talk to you. They know what kind of things to say uh, to either manipulate you or make you feel good. I don't know if it's... I don't know if their in intentions are good. You know them. I don't know them. So, you know, use your discernment. Okay, let's pick more cards. What does Taurus need to know? This is not a soulmate reading, but I feel like Taurus, I always talk about love when it comes to you guys. Okay. Ten of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is a lot about being comfortable to tell your truth. Being able to tell this person, hey, at one point, I thought I would have, you know, a happy life with you. We could have had it all. Um, are you aware of the type of person I am? Because I know what I'm worth, especially in a relationship. Like we know as Tauruses what we have to offer in a love situation. And I feel like this person took you for granted. I'm going to be honest, okay? So there could also be that there is a new situation and it's kind of helping you move out from this past energy that feels kind of unbalanced. A new situation where there is a real possibility of a Ten of Cups um, happy ending, let's say. The Queen of Swords, she's been through a lot. To me, she's the survivor of the tarot. She's been through grief, through loss. She doesn't want to hear people's lies anymore, okay? She's not, she's not going to do things and act a certain way to make other people happy. She's like, no, it didn't work in the past. And now I'm going to stand my ground. I'm going to be honest with myself and honest with people. Even if it, you know, not scared to, let's say it how it is, but like not being scared of being a bitch. Literally. Okay. 
Let's see, we have more cards before we start clarifying. What does Taurus need to know about this situation? I saw the Ten of Wands. Okay. The moment you are able to walk out, Eight of Cups, walk out of a situation, and it doesn't have to be physically, okay? This could literally be, it could be someone that you either met online or... I feel like it was always unbalanced with that person. You never really got what you wanted, okay? The moment you're able to move out from that, and Eight of Cups is not easy. It's a deep transformative energy, a lot like the debt card. Um, it takes a lot of self-love and self-respect to go through an Eight of Cups moment because it is your decision. You're moving out of something or leaving someone behind that in the past you really care for we have the sun the moment you let go your happiness is right here waiting for you literally knocking at your door okay this is really beautiful energy especially seeing the sun close to the ace of one my favorite card in the tarot the ace of ones i say it all the time i know you're fed up of hearing it but it is a big yes from the universe so if you've been, you know, talking to a new person, uh, I really feel like you're going to feel liberated. Definitely feeling a lot of happiness, a lot of self-love and feeling love in return. And I think that in the past, this person with who you have unfinished business with, it was never pure. It was always uncertainty, unbalance, um, it's weird. I don't like that energy. It makes me feel kind of, ugh. They, they messed up with your self-confidence. And it takes a lot for a Taurus, okay, to have our self-confidence kind of mess with. But I think this person, they knew how to, like I said, they knew how to talk to you to make you either doubt yourself and sometimes to make you feel really love and validate um, this person talked a lot, but didn't act much. Let's put it this way. Okay. Let's use the Botticelli Tarot to clarify. This is one of the most beautiful deck ever. Okay. Three of Swords in the reverse. Woo! Okay. Cards are a little bit jumpy. I'm kind of not used to... It's like a really slippery deck. We have the Seven of Sword. So this confirms what I was saying, okay? That this person, the way they talk to you, the way they either ghosted you, answer to your messages once in a while, being in and out, they made you feel like you were not good enough. At one point, they made you feel like you were the problem in that situation, but you weren't. I really feel like you were fair. You tried to be there for them, even when they were acting crazy. I do feel like there's kind of a weird power play uh, situation. Someone who has kind of an ego problem, but at the same time, they like to be with someone who is dominant. It's weird. This is a weird person, I'm going to be honest. Okay, justice card. Clarify the justice card. We have the six of sword. Again, the six of sword, we saw it in the, the beginning. Leaving behind a state of mind. You're completely changed. And I think that, Taurus, you're intelligent enough to understand that you had lessons to learn from the situation. But I, I don't want to... Um, I really want to validate how you feel. It's okay if you're hurt. And I know we don't want to show that shit. Like, I'm a Taurus too. I, I don't want to show other people when I'm hurt. I want to deal with my bullshit and I don't want anyone to get involved. Definitely, okay? Um, you're changing your perspective, changing your mind. See the confidence here. Confidence is your key to success. You kept your head up. And maybe at one point you you felt again like you weren't good enough, like you, maybe you put yourself down. Uh, you know, our brain's telling us story about so many bullshit that our brain tells us that is not true. But I think that 
your confidence at the end of the day, it's just going to win. You kept your head up. You, st you stayed like, um, you, you always were the bigger person in that situation. Yeah, I like that. Eight of pentacles in the reverse. We have the debt card. I'm not surprised. I told you this reading is a lot like it made me th how beautiful is that card by the way S i'm obsessed with that deck um you're transforming and eights are about transformation in the tarot always so it's it confirms that you had lessons to learn from that person and i know it's shitty and again i feel like some days you're still angry at them you're still annoyed um because you know you deserve some answers, some clear conversation. And I feel like some of you, this person just ghosted, stop answering. Maybe they blocked you. Maybe you both blocked each other. Who knows? And the sun here at the end is kind of the end of everything. Like you're getting your happiness. You're getting your reward because you faced the debt energy, transformation energy, with your head up and with confidence. You didn't let this person get the best of you. Um, and you were the bigger person in that situation because the debt card is a lot about how we receive a situation, okay? Um, how are we facing this? Are we being, pe you know, petty, uh, angry? Are we wishing bad luck on this person and i feel like you were really strong strong is the word that comes to mind yeah i love that justice card at the bottom of the deck you were fair i think that you gave this person a lot more energy that they deserve let's put it this way okay three of pentacles let's clarify the three of pentacles we have the ten of wands you don't care. You don't care that this person admires you. You don't care that whatever freaking mind games they're trying to play, you're over. You're you're done with that bullshit, literally. And see, we go from a 10 of wands, closing a cycle to an ace of wands. So the moment you finally close this cycle, and I don't know what you did, you could have done so many things, okay? Blocking that person, telling them it's over. Uh, you know, if you're a spiritual practitioner, maybe you literally did some kind of a ritual to ban this person from your life. I don't know what you did, okay? You know. Um, the moment you close this cycle, it's like the universe saw that. And now you're ready for a brand new beginning, okay? So let's leave this person in the past. We talked about them enough now. I am fed up of this energy. Uh, because I do feel like when this is over, there's a brand new situation that's coming for you. And I like that. I feel like it might have already started. Okay, let's clarify the Ace of Wands. There's a card that wants to come out. Okay, Ace of Wands. We have the Page of Cups. Sorry, it's, it's written in Italian, so... <laughs> I'm always looking for the French. And I'm like, okay, the page, page of cups, page of cups, sorry guys. So beautiful. Maybe this person may, um, was the one making the first move in that situation. Definitely, if you're still single, uh, if you just closed the cycle with a past person, trust me, there's someone new definitely who noticed you. They might be a little younger, but I don't necessarily associate the page with younger people. That's just personal to me. I feel like we don't give enough credit to the page. They are amazing. They want to prove how loyal they are and how worthy they are. Okay. So page of cups is a lot about our ability to play, to not take ourselves seriously. So chances are this person is like really fun. Someone really funny. Uh, they're not in the ego. They just want to live day by day. And if they love someone, they're just going to tell them there's no games. This is not a game player. This is someone who I feel like the moment they talked to you, they knew that there was potential. Ten of Cups. Let's 
clarify the Ten of Cups. We have the Magician. Oh, I love that. The Magician and the High Priestess. So your new person might be highly spiritual. Um, how beautiful is that energy? The Magician and the High Priestess together. I'm a little shook right now. Um, two independent people meeting in the middle and just wanting to create a Ten of Cups, a uh, happy life together. Yeah, I do feel like your person is either an artist, uh, if not someone really independent, they might have their own business. This is someone who inspire you and I think you inspire them. They are open-minded, they have everything they need. This is someone who is just, I don't know why I'm, I'm feeling passionate. Someone who is just happy to be alive. When in the past, this person was literally a victim type mentality. Okay, let's clarify the Queen of Swords. We have the Eight of Sword. So this is the third eight that we're seeing. No, more than that, guys. Okay, so many eights here. Of course, if you believe, you know, in the divine angel numbers, 888 is really powerful. And it's just the proof that you are transforming. Definitely. This is a major time for you. You don't want to deal with bullshit. You're choosing honesty. You're choosing to step out of this situation of constantly thinking about someone who just isn't good for you. And I feel like it was kind of a drug for you before. You couldn't stop thinking about them. And now you're done. You know it doesn't serve you and you're done with that bullshit. Definitely. I like that. I feel like this new person is someone who's really honest. It's one of the things that you like about them. Uh, really direct. It could be any sign, honestly. Um... But someone who is comfortable, who is confident, and they make you feel good. Yeah, no games. No games. Eight of Cups. These cards are so slippery. We have the Page of Pentacles. I love this energy. This is an energy of being willing to start from zero, okay? Again, this is not a victim type mentality. You are aware that everything that you've been through served you is a lesson, something that you're going to be using in your future. Um, yeah, you're just, you're willing to start from zero, you know? And it's not someone who's like, I lost everything. No, it's not that. It's a beautiful energy of just, being willing to start over. I feel like you're definitely the bigger person here. You're not going to bring your anxiety from the past. You're not going to be comparing these two people together. You know that they're completely different. You know that this is a type of person that you deserve in your life. And there's something about learning because the page of the page of pentacle is the student of the tarot. So you might be dealing with someone who's highly intelligent, highly cultivated, they're open-minded, and you feel like they can teach you a lot of things just by the type of human they are. And I think you're attracted by that. You're attracted by the fact that you can have any type of conversation with them. Let's clarify the sun. We have the six of cups. This is such a beautiful energy, especially with the sun, being hopeful, healing the past, finding balance within yourself. And see, there's too little child here, okay? This is a lot about the inner child. And Taurus season is a lot about healing our inner child because it's a lot about receiving, okay? How we are able to receive love, how we are able to nurture ourselves and not only wait for other people's validation, okay? So I don't think like you're depending on this new person. I feel like you're you're feeling brand new. You're finally ready to have someone in your life. 
finally ready to receive this love and not only be giving, giving, giving and forgetting yourself like you did with this past energy. This is really balanced and they love you as much as you love them. This is why I love this energy. Okay, Taurus, that was intense. Um, I hope you resonate. I know this was a weekly and it ended up being all about love. Listen, I can't predict what's going to happen with the tarot. I'm just going with my intuition. So thank you for being here. Enjoy this beautiful new beginning. You deserve it. I'm happy for you. Uh, happy birthday. I know a lot of you are celebrating your birthday this week. I will be celebrating my birthday also in a couple days. So I see you. Uh, I love you and I'll talk to you guys in a couple days. Bye bye.